All right, so I'm back here, and uh, like I like I usually do every time I go to meet a new town, I'm I'm usually gonna like search around. Uh, see, take a look at by this pressure; it's slick and smooth, plushy too. I usually take around, look around town, see what's in here. Uh, have you already challenged the finally the leader of the gym? The girl's grandfather was famous. He's won the Elite Four in the Pokemon League at one point. It would would have surprised me to see Flannery become a great trainer in her own right. Hmm. Huh. That kind of makes me think. So, yeah. Uh, I kind of met with the... What do you call her? What's her name? Lynette. And uh, she... Accidentally pressed A. And she basically told me... Cool. She told me, uh, pff, stupid. She's the, uh, what do you call it? She's the bill of this town, basically. She is the bill of this generation. She created the, she created the item boxes or whatever, the storage boxes. All right, let's see what we can learn here. Are this just moves we just, <sighs> is this moves we've already known? Get, get out of here! Oh my gosh! So those are just moves that that were already taught to your Pokemon beforehand. Okay, so this is Route 14. <laughs> okay, Fossil Man Maniac. What the heck? My big brother's a Fossil Maniac. He's a nice guy who lives loves fossil. He loves digging holes too. He's dug this hole by himself. You can uh, have this. He can dig holes just like my big brother. Alright, so we have Dig now, which is a pretty decent ground type move. This dude actually, is there gonna be Pokemon that pop up? No, it seems like just a regular house because it's not letting me run. Alright, here's the fossil dude. I'm the fossil maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. Do you want a fossil? Bert, the fossil around these parts are all belong to me. None of for you if you can bear to go without a fossil. Look in the desert where there are boulders and sands to hide behind my fossil. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? I never really used a fossil type Pokemon before, except an Aerodactyl, and that was only once. And I really did not like using an Aerodactyl. I felt stupid when using it for some reason. Oh, look, a Poochina. Bow, wow, wow, yippee yo, yippee yay. All my Pokemon does is roar, and no one dares to come near me. Sigh, so if I only could please take this team away. <laughs> I believe my Poochina learned Rar before I put him away. <laughs> before I put him down. Before I put him away in his uh, little spot. So is there a Pokemon gym here? Battle tent. That's all I see. I don't know why he's told me if I challenged the Pokemon gym yet. Fossil dude. This kind of guy. Fisher dude. Skipping battles, dude. Oh man, I can't go. Oh no! I need exercise after a meal. Let's have a match. Alright, bring it, bro. Picnicker Nancy. She throws out a Meryl. I need a grass type Pokemon. That's what I need now that I think of it. Or something that knows a grass, or something that can learn a grass type move. I wish uh, they had the that that new evolution for Gardevoir in this generation, where it's a male version of it. I think you use a Dawnstone, or I know you use a stone, and it evolves into this like attack beast that knows Leaf Blade, or it could learn Leaf Blade, or you have to teach it Leaf Blade, I believe. But it knows Leaf Blade, which is a pretty like one of the best physical attack moves. I'm gonna throw out a lombre. Well, I can't really choose anything to fight a lombre. Ombre? Oh, get it what I did there, hombre? The man or the dude or bro or I don't even know what that means. Turn into Swift. I actually like Swift. Swift is a very, very good attack because it never misses and it has a decent amount of attack to it. I use it on a daily basis if I ever have that. 
and I believe it attacks two Pokemon if you're in a double battle. I don't know if it does it for this generation, but I believe it does in uh, generations uh, after this one. Let's see. What are we here? What do we have here? Oh my goodness. Ran into a level 15 low tad. This guy doesn't look like he'll battle me. Talk to me, bro. Talk to me. I love using berry crush machines, so I collect berries. I'll share one with you if you like. A bluck berry? You should try to bear... What? Lynette's house, yeah. This is the girl. Oh, look, a random Pokeball sitting at us. Oh, Luna, I'm sorry everything is so cluttered. When I got engrossed in research, things end up this way. This is embarrassing. Please keep this a secret in exchange for this. A low tad doll. Uh, may I offer advancing advice about my Pokemon storage system? Uh, what she say? Whatever. Let's see, we're on Rafa. It looks like there's an item there. Hmm. I feel as if this leads into a cave. I actually ran into a lady Lotad. Then I ran into a Swablu, which is one of the Pokemon I was uh, debating on using, but I, I ended up wanting to go with uh, it. I, Swablu's evolved into a dragon flying type, but I'd rather have a dragon ground type. Either way, Ice Attack is going to do four times the damage that it should do, so I might as well just go for ground type because that's the type I need. And plus, uh, the other type that I have, is it, it will be able to use a flying... No, it will learn how to fly. Which is good. What the hell? There's an item here. There's no way this is not just... There's no item here. Alright, whatever then. Alright. I feel as if I'm going through here and it's useless. Skip the trainers. Skip all the trainers! I don't think I skip you, dude. Let's see. Hmm. Take that. Give the screen. Double dragon battle, boy. Let's go. If we're not prepared, you shouldn't be up in the mountains. Have you made your Pokemon evolve very much? Have you made your Pokemon evolve very much? Evolve very much. Why does that sound weird to me? It'd be funny if she asked me if I had my Pokemon evolve and none of her Pokemon are evolved. Alright, let's see if a fire type actually does something to a Lombre. Let's see. We cool down that Super Saiyan Geodude. Alright, let's see. A Numel. Fire type. Natural power turned into Rock Slide. Which is bad news for my Torkoal. But it's a defense beast. So it should... Yep, it should take the hits. Alright, it's not going to do much. So I'm just going to use Body Slam. Let's see, one hit killed that Numel, which is a fire type. Uh oh, it's using Absorb, which isn't going to do much because I am a fire type. So he only gets one HP out of it, so he should go bump himself. Uh, ooh. Pretty much a one hit KO in my mind. Or a two hit KO, whatever. Alright, let's see. 
getting off that uh, defense. These I have defense beast Pokemon, which I like defense, but I usually like uh, sometimes I usually like super super fast Pokemon or either Pokemon that are like um, Omega defense. Like I actually use like I was saying before my recording stop. I actually use Chansey's, uh, believe it or not. I I usually use it when I'm doing like a random playthrough. Uh, I believe I used it in Diamond and Pearl. I used a Chansey. I raised it from a Hippony when uh, you get it from that guy. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. I thought Chanseys are pretty cool. I, I like them because uh, they're they're basically lucky, and I believe you do get luck when you uh, get a Chansey. All right, let's see. What is this? Meteor Falls, Rustbrewer City through here. So we could go. We could reach Rustbrewer City once we go through here. So I think I'm actually gonna stop the video, and then next time we uh, we go through here. We're most likely going to go through Rustboro City. So until next time, stay cool.